I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question for IIT JE students. Now this is based on inverse functions. There are two questions in this particular video to solve. The first one here is cos inverse of sin x plus cos x over square root 2 where x is between 5 pi by 4 and 9 pi by 4. You can copy this question. Remember cos inverse is defined in the domain of 0 to pi, correct? Now, the second question here is sine inverse of sin x plus cos x over square root 2 where x is between minus pi by 4 and plus pi by 4. Again, four options are given to you. So, let me begin with this one. We'll follow exactly the same method to do both. Now, 1 over square root 2 can be replaced by sine pi by 4 and it's also equals to cos pi by 4. Correct? So that is the substitution I'm going to make here. So and then we we'll rearrange and get sine inverse of some sine function. So it becomes sine inverse of so 1 over square root 2 I'm replacing with or let me just write the step like this 1 over square root 2 sin x plus 1 over square root 2 cos x right now I could write 1 over square root 2 as cos pi by 4 right so that will give me uh, the compound angle formula for sine so I could write this as sine inverse of sin x sine pi by 4 plus cos x cos uh, sorry this is because you want to use sine right so let me rewrite this so we'll use cos pi by 4 here right sine x cos pi by 4 and in this case we'll use sine pi by 4 Now we could write this as equal to sine inverse of sine x plus pi by 4. So I hope this step is clear, right? So what we did was that we used the sine a plus b formula, which is sine a cos b. plus cos a sin b replacing 1 over square root 2 by cos pi by 4 and sin pi by 4 helps us to get this kind of result now we are given that x is between minus pi by 4 and plus pi by 4 now what you need to do here at this stage is to see what happens to x plus pi by 4 right so what we are given here is that x is between minus pi by 4 and plus pi by 4. We have to see what will happen to x plus pi by 4. So if I add pi by 4, I get 0. x plus pi by 4 is less than pi by 4 plus pi by 4, which is pi by 2, right? So we get this x plus pi by 4 is between 0 to pi by 2. Now that is fine because sine inverse is defined for the angle being between minus pi by 2 and plus pi by 2. So this is perfectly fine. In this case, since this angle is within this interval, we get our result as x plus pi by 4. Correct? So option A is the right option. So that is how we are going to do it. Now let's take the, the other part which we have with cosine function. So it looks similar, however, note that x is between 5 pi by 4 and 9 pi by 4, correct? So using the same strategy, we could write this as cos inverse of, now what is cos a cos b? Cos a minus, because this is plus in between, so cos a minus b is cos a cos b 
plus sin a sin b and therefore we will use cos pi by 4 and sin pi by 4 correct this is positive in between so let me rearrange the whole thing so I'll write this as let me first write like this 1 over square root 2 cos x plus 1 over square root 2 sin x okay now we'll write this as cos inverse of so we have cos x cos pi by 4 plus sin x sin pi by 4 correct so that gives us cos inverse of cos x minus pi by 4 now we should not directly write x minus pi by 4 here we have to see that x is between 5 pi by 4 and 9 pi by 4 correct so what we are given here is that x is between 5 pi by 4 and 9 pi by 4. So if I take away pi by 4, right, so if I do 5 pi by 4 minus pi by 4, x minus pi by 4, 9 pi by 4 minus pi by 4, what do I get? So here we get 4 pi by 4, which is pi, correct? And in this case, x minus pi by 4. And here we get 8 pi, right? 8 pi by 4, which is 2 pi. Now, as you know, cos inverse is actually defined in which interval? From 0 to pi, correct? Now, for cos inverse, we always take 0 to pi. Not pi to 2 pi. Do you get the idea, right? Not pi to 2 pi. Now, to convert this to 0 to pi, we have to take away the angle from 2 pi. So, we get 2 pi minus x minus pi by 4. You get the idea. So, this is a very critical step. Now, this is what you get. 2 pi minus x pi by 4. Now, so this answer here will now be equal to not x minus pi by 4 rather it will be 2 pi minus x minus pi by 4 so that is your answer correct now we can simplify so so what we get after simplification is uh, this is equal to we have x here minus x and we could write this as 2 pi minus minus becomes plus pi by 4 minus x and that gives you 8 pi plus pi by 4 minus x which is 9 pi by 4 minus x so option b is the right option correct so i hope you get the whole concept so the idea is in such questions we have to somehow get cos inverse of cos theta right once you get theta then you have to ensure that theta is between for cosine is between uh, 0 to pi right so so theta should be between 0 to it could be equal to also uh, 0 to pi that is essential otherwise we have to change the angle to get the right result so we get we need to do that transformation. I hope that point is clear. So if you do like this, you actually get the right answer. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.